In regards to strategy, where do you see it going? What do you want to come out of the next five years? Okay. okay, that's very clear in my mind at least. So I'll share those things with you. Over the years, what I've realized is that health information technology is not driven by price in our healthcare system. By that, I mean that, you know, in an economy, price is what adjudicates supply and demand. But in healthcare, no, it's policy that drives technology and uptake. So it's a different kind of P, price versus policy. And so I thought to myself, this is interesting because it would not have occurred to me because that's not our intuition about how things work in the world, mm -hmm. right? It's price, price drives right. everything. Value. Yes, value, price. Because we're all harping on value. We're all everywhere. harping on value. Yes. But, but value can be existing, but nobody can go, go for it because the policy isn't in place to do that. Uh, policy became an important part of what I was thinking. And then as I looked at our healthcare system, looked around me and I said, what are the levers for change? And there's really only a few levers for change. Mm -hmm. Of course, everybody thinks about money. Money is a big lever, but you know we're reaching the point of diminishing returns with what we can do with money these days. It's a $350 billion industry in Canada today. That's, that's more than the entire GDP of Kenya. Yes, and they have a bigger population. We spend lots of money and the more we throw in, the less we get out of it. So I think we need other levers. The other lever is of course, technology and know-how, but also, that also gets us to a certain limit. And we're seeing the limits of that right now, right? Because our health system is in overdrive mm. because we use too much technology and too much. Really? Yes. You would say that? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Medications, medical devices, diagnostic imaging, all of those kinds of technologies increase costs. They lengthen life, which is a good thing. But the thing is that we don't live to become Superman. We live longer to get more diseases. If I save you from a heart attack, it doesn't mean that you now become Wonder Woman. No, you are now risk of developing cancer, dementia, hip replacements, cataracts. All the things that we have demand for right now mm -hmm. are because people are living longer. And that's a good thing. But we also need to think about how do we prevent those things from happening in the first place. Nobody wants to get cancer. Nobody wants to get dementia. Are those things preventable? Absolutely. We have the knowledge to prevent those things. So that brings me to my third lever, and that is digital technologies. Digital technologies are also a lever. Mm -hmm. Knowledge, information is a lever. It allows us to pinpoint our interventions to the right place at the right time. Okay, so that's another lever. The other lever that we have is something called leadership. People forget about leadership. Leadership is such an important part of how we create change. When, whenever there's change required, somebody has to lead us to that change. It doesn't just happen automatically. It doesn't happen because we all decide together. Mm -hmm. No, leadership is required, okay? And, and the fifth one, I think, is the policy lever, right? That's how things get changed. Even if leaders want to do something, if the policy is not right, it's not going to move forward. Mm -hmm. So that's why if you look at our strategy, our strategy is focused on those levers. Digital health, policy, leadership. And that's why it's the future of health, leadership, informatics, and policy.